So this last lesson now, um, all we're really doing is just making our problems a little bit more difficult, putting things more together. And we're just going to keep adding to this now over the next few lessons. Okay, so, yeah. Let's say I have 10 volts. And let's say I have two bulbs here. <coughs> and this is one ohm. And this is the same, one ohm. So my question to you um, is, I take my voltmeter well actually you know what let me make this a little bit more different let's make this two instead of one okay now if I put my voltmeter here So I measure the voltage, and then I put one here, and measure the voltage. Would those two numbers be the same, or different? Yeah, you should be confident that they're different. So now my next question, which one would be bigger? Hmm. Which one is the bigger one? The top or the bottom? Which one? The top or the bottom? Top. The top. Why? Yeah. Don't forget that V equals I or. So because the or is bigger here, then the V is bigger here. Now, um, let me just remove them for a moment. This is just about ideas. Okay, so here, I put my ammeter here, I put one here, and then I put one here. So of the three of them, what do we think? Which will be different, which will be the same, what do we think? Um, all the same. Yeah, they're all the same. And this is important. Um, that the three ammeters, <coughs> they're all say the same number. Okay? Because what does ammeter measure? Current. current. And what's current? Coulomb yeah, coulombs per second. Okay, so if you think about it like this, if one student comes in into a room or into a hall, uh, if one student comes in per second, then one student must leave per second. Because if, this, if one student doesn't leave and one student keeps coming in, then what will happen? They'll just get more and more students in the hall. So if there's one student coming in per second, then there must be one leaving per second. It's just like with the current. If there's one coulomb per second at the top, then there must be one coulomb per second in the middle, and there must be one coulomb per second at the bottom. It, it has to be the same number per second because if the one at the, the top um, was bigger than the one at the bottom then that means there's more charge at the top than the bottom it's just, you know, it's impossible it's like with the water as well so if I have 5 litres per second then it's 5 litres here and 5 litres here as well so, what I'm trying to get you to appreciate is with current, it's nice because it's the same current. It's the voltage that's different. Okay. Let's do some calculations. Okay. 
So here we'll say it's V1 and here we'll say it's V2. Okay. I would like to know the I first. So that's my first question, the I. So what formula should I use for I? I equals V over R. Yeah. V equals I or. So I equals V over R. Now, what V and R do I use? V use 10 volts. Yep. And R? I use the three. three. You were right. Yes. So we use three because we use the, the total resistance for the circuit. So 3.3 Okay now we can get the V1 and the V2. So V1 here, the voltage for this piece, that's equal to I or the I is 3.33, but what's the or? It's 2. So that's 6.66 volts. And then V2 is IR, which is 3.33 multiplied by 1. So that's 3.33 volts. There. Now, there is actually an important and interesting result here. What happens when you add these two voltages together? What do you get? Yeah, roughly 10, which is what the battery is. So, um, if I just go to the side for a moment. If you have a battery of, let's say, V volts, and then you have lots of, uh, lots of stuff here. I'll just write stuff. All the voltage used must equal the voltage in the battery. So back here, this was 6.66 volts used, and this was 3.33 volts used. Together, that's 10 volts. That should happen, okay? Um, if the battery gives 10 volts, then each of the resistors together must use up. 10 volts. Okay, so that should always happen. Um, okay, I'll give you one to try now. Can I go down? Yeah. Okay, so let's see. Um, let's make it two batteries again. Okay, and there's a resistance here. Uh, and this measures current. So let's say it's measuring, let's say, 3 amps. Okay, I would like you to calculate... Ah, no, this is too, too easy. Um, make it a little bit trickier, at least. 1 amp. Wait, hang on, I want to make it a bit trickier. No, well, no, no, we'll just do that one first. Okay, so tell me what the R is. 3. Uh, what form did you use? Uh, I equals V over I. Yes, or as I wrote it, V equals... I, 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 
IR, yes. So what's the V? Three. Three. And the I? One. One. And the R? Is R. So then R equals three ohms. Okay. Do you have that part? Yeah? No. I'm going to add to it. So what I'm going to do now is put another resistor in. And it has the same resistance. It's the same. Two of the same. Okay? Now what's going to change is the current is X. I don't know what the current is. But these are still the same. These are about 3 ohms of resistance. So my question is, what's the current? If you can calculate that. I think it's 0 0.5. Well, calculate it and see. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're wrong. Okay. How many people have an answer? You have an answer? Were you right or wrong? Yes, right. Oh, good. Do you have an answer yet? So, we use this formula again. What's the B? Three, yeah. The I, we don't know. And what's the O? Six, yeah. So then the I is 0 0.5. Okay. Oh, I I moved the six. It's three over six. Yeah, three over six. Yeah. And then. That's it then. I get two. You got two. <laughs> I don't know. Three over six is that. Yes. Ah, see this small mistake. <laughs> So, let me just show you something here. I don't think I'll do the first page because the first page um, was all about using using the voltmeter and the ammeter, but I'll do that with you later. I'll show you how to use it before the experiment. Has anybody used the ammeter or voltmeter before? You have digital or the ones with the dials? Digital. That's good. Which one? You have both. Okay. Yeah. So I want to show you something here. Oops, hang on. No, no.
Ok. Oops. Just did that. Yeah, oops, too far. Yeah, here we go. So right now we're doing simple circuits. But I'll show you some of the more complicated circuits later. So later we'll look at things like this. Which, you know, look much more complicated, don't they? But you'd be surprised it's not as bad as it looks. Just for today though, well, this is this is for. It's complicated, well, yeah. <laughs> now, the good news is, Louise, yeah. it only it looks more complicated than it is. Mm -hmm. It's not as complicated as it looks. But anyway, I'm just saying these ones would be called simple uh, circuits because the reason they're simple is they're just one. You see what I mean? One loop, one circuit, okay? But later, we'll look at how we can deal with, you know, circuits like this. You have a battery, and then maybe you have another battery here, and then you have a, a light bulb here, light bulb here, resistor here. Uh, you know, we can make it more complicated. Um, just for today, we're using this rule, this one maybe, but we haven't used it too much, and then the other one, work equals IVT. So these are the three that we have to deal with today, and the other thing is all the new units. So just to recap, what are the new units we have for today? Coulombs. Coulombs? What measure? What uh, measure? Charge. Charge. Like, for example, what has a charge? Electron, ions, and protons. So, Coulomb measures charge, like electron, proton, ion. What else do we have? Huh? Volts. Yeah, so what does volts measure? <laughs> what the heck is that then? Yeah, tell me what that is. What, what type of difference? It's when one, one kilogram of one charge of kilogram of one 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 and if it has a low voltage, then it can do no uh, little work. So we have Coulomb and voltage. And then what's one Coulomb per second called? One Coulomb per second. It's called an amp. Yeah. Which you yeah, uh, oh, amp. Yeah. An uh, amp is printed on everything here. In fact, I think it's on the battery as well. So we have Coulomb voltage. Amp. Oh, and the last one, there's one more. Resistance power. Ohms. Resistance. Huh? Yeah. What does ohms tell us? Resistance. Which is what? Um, when voltage is used up. Yeah. So resistance tells you how much voltage wants to be blocked or used or consumed you know um, so like <coughs> the current here the current has a high voltage then it passes through this it does some work makes light so there's lots of resistance here and then at the end is that at a higher or a lower voltage? 
a lower voltage because it did some work. So now it has less work it can do. Okay? What is the gas? What's the gas in fluorescent lights? Hmm? Gas in like fluorescent lights. Not sure actually, I can't remember. Um rats. I can't remember. Um no, don't remember. Don't remember. Um, but it'll be under a low pressure as well, like the neon. Is it raining? Uh, no, I'll have to look it up. I don't remember where it is. Okay. Now, we have 10 minutes left, and I have two worksheets I want you to do. You might be able to finish them all in 10 minutes because they're all okay. short questions about the three rules from today. Okay, so you can start these now. There's two pages there. Computer cleaner, but the past now.